What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video, another reaction. Today, guys, we got a voice play double feature. Today, guys, we got Mr. Blue Sky and Any Way You Want It. Uh, both some pretty uplifting, kind of just bright and kind of vibey songs by voice play. Um, so these two actually came out kind of similar in time to each other. I think only like a month, like two months, maybe three months time of each other. Um, I personally haven't listened to these songs in a while because voice plays put out so many recent bangers that, I mean, probably a lot of people, not just including, or just not really paying attention to those older songs that voice play did that are still way up there in production value. And then just overall how it, it sounds, because I bet if I go back and listen to any song by voice play right now, I'm gonna think it's just as good as it was um so yeah first up we're gonna be doing mr blue sky and then right after we're gonna go right into any way you want it so without further ado let's get into this the sun is shining in the sky there ain't no clouds inside it's not okay right off the bat i'm here just the fast, super fast bass line by Jeff. Let's see if we can turn this up to 1080. The sun is shining in the sky. There ain't no clouds inside. It stopped raining. Everybody's in the play. And don't you know, it's a beautiful new day. Hey. Okay, so I, I don't want to pause because if I do two voice play videos, it's going to be a long video. I mean, this song is really meant for this group. I mean, if you would have taken the big three, obviously they all could have put their own spin on it, all could have done an amazing job, like Pentatonix, Home Free, and voice play is what I'm talking about. But I feel this is definitely voice plays. This is where voice plays most in their bag. Just these fun boppy songs um i mean obviously we've seen them do some of the newer like um the whole sea shanty spree that home free and these guys went on um and i mean that's kind of why the whole wellerman group came out um but like this is just this is them this fits jay nunn and ellie's voice so well and then obviously this is a bright uplifting song that really helps out with earl's upper register as well so Shines brightly in the city on the streets where once was pity. Mr. Blue, blue sky is living here today. Hey, Mr. Blue sky, please tell us why you had a hideaway for so long. Where did we go wrong? Mr. Blue sky, please tell us why you had a hideaway for so long. Oh, 
the three of them make it, it so obviously in the original Mr. Blue Sky it gets to this part of the song and the vocalist um, has this really weird electric sound to him and it's almost like a piano key with almost like a human tone um, in terms of the note so it's like if you, if you had a piano and then you hit it but instead of a piano noise coming out it's a human noise with like that piano computer texture to it um obviously we see jeff obviously just i think he i can't remember if it's an f or an e but he goes down in with a growl register and we don't hear a lot of growls from jeff usually he stays with his really thick lower chest range or his insane har subharmonics we don't see a lot of things that are growls or necessarily vocal fret from him whereas somebody like tim faust uses a lot of ground a lot of lower chest fry uh so yeah it's definitely it's definitely almost weird nowadays to see him do growl but i mean it's still welcome still low notes I love Thank that, for this whole, that whole like part work series that they did. I mean, they kind of did it again with their minis, but that's not really the same thing. Um, it's just basically their next kind of series um, in terms of what they want to do as just little extras um and by all means like i think the minis are insane like something um what it, was it it's 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 the nirvana song that they came out with um the with omar and then what's the other one i like mr Sandman, and then i like the stranger things one those are like my three tapes right now um but yeah insane song i mean we know with voice play it's gonna be insane so yeah, let's go right back in with our next one, Any Way You Want It. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it, any way you... So it looks like they actually, so obviously this has got to be a different day. Um, but it looks like it's in the same place, uh, same kind of background stuff. But I mean, if, if you're production and sound engineering, and then you just obviously your atmosphere with the group is good enough, you know, do you really need it? Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. She loves to laugh. She loves to sing. She does everything. instead of F um, on my keyboard. Um, and this this one, I mean, like I said about the last one, this fits their uh, Elliot and Jay Nunn's voice really well. This fits Earl because um, I feel like 
not the exact same tonality, but I feel like they're very high. Just their normal vo- voices are just high in general. Uh, Journeys lead singer and Earl, um, and then so for Earl to kind of seem like he's shining on this uh, definitely makes me happy. And I wish we could have gotten a lot more stuff from Earl as a lead singer before he left. Um, but glad we had him. All we did. Oh, every night, hold tight, hold on, oh, hold on. So baby, hold tight and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, just baby. any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it, want it. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it, want it, want it. down. play uh, in terms of what their personality of a group is these two songs definitely kind of bring that like they're they're just super uplifting they definitely got that um it's just something about them um if you guys like what else do you describe them as i mean obviously but but like this could this also shows that they can be serious and make it serious song not in terms of what the theme or anything of the song is but then they just can actually get down to business and perform a song and smash out of the park so i mean this is just one of hundreds of examples that voice Space shows that they can stack up with any other acapella group in the world and I don't know what to tell y'all. It's just, uh, I I love it. I, I, everything that they've done. Because I remember, I think it was, it's been a while. It was back in like 2014 when I first discovered voice play. Um, and first really fell in love with acapella. Because like 2013, 2014 is when I found pentatonics. And then I remember uh, like, looking through different acapella groups, stumbling upon Home Free, really fell in love with Home Free, um, even more so than Pentatonix at the time. But, and then I kind of knew a voice play in, when I, in 2014, 2015, when I started listening at Home Free more, uh, just from the sing-off and then other things that they've done with each other and whatnot. And 2016, 2017 is where really when I was like, like acapella like just fanboy um, and by 2018 I think I really fell in love with voice play and they became my favorite group and 
have been since. Uh, so yeah, if you guys like this, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. You have my love and affection for me. Comment down below what you guys want to see me react to next. As always, my PayPal info will also be in the description below. If you guys want to donate anything over there, you get two free reactions of your choice. And any money donated to me comes straight back to the channel. Um, and as always, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.